states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Which 
Amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishment. Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishment. States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments. You're going to have to say it real loud for me. The 18th? Okay, no, good try. Okay, you ready? Want me to say it again? Which amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments? Say real loud. 15, no, sorry, good job. You gotta buy him a razor. You gotta buy you a razor. <laughs> okay. He's the mayor. He's the mayor. Sorry. Okay, which amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments? Okay, did you say seven? Okay, no, good try. Want me to read it again? No, okay. What do you got there? Do you know the answer? No, I don't know. Okay. You want me to move on? Or do you want to guess? Guess, guess, guess. Uh, six? Nope, good try, good try. Okay, am I going? Yeah, that way, that way. Uh, am I starting here? Okay. Want me to read it again? <laughs> Which amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments? Take a guess or you want me to move on? Okay, take a guess. Third? Okay, good try, good try. Which amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments? Okay, guess you're going to move on. Move on? Okay, good try. Want me to read it again? Which amendment to the United States Constitution provides a safeguard against cruel and unusual punishments? A. Number nine. Number nine. What is the name of the current Vice President of the United States? Vice President Joseph Biden. Close enough, right? He's yeah. Biden. Uh, that's good enough. Close enough. Biden. 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 Good job. Good job. Biden. He would laugh. He would like that. Biden. 78 too high. Good job. 78 too high. 15. How many members of the U.S. House of Representatives does Delaware have? One. Thirty-two. Which of the following people was not someone, was not somebody, who signed the United States Constitution on behalf of Delaware? 
George Reed, Gunny Beverly Jr., James Madison, John Dickinson, or Richard Bassett? Let me read that again. Which of the following people was not someone who signed the United States Constitution on behalf of Delaware? George Reed, Gunny Pepper Jr., James Madison, John Dickinson, or Richard Bassett? Did you say that one? Thomas Jefferson. No, I'm sorry, that's not the right answer. That's, that wasn't one of the ones that I read, but that was a hard one. So good try, everybody clap. Okay, who's next here? You? Alright, same question. Which of the following people was not someone who signed the United States Constitution on behalf of Delaware? George Reed, Gunning Bedford Jr., James Madison, John Dickinson, or Richard Bassett? Say it loud. Richard Bassett's incorrect. Good try, though. Want me to read it again? Okay. Now, you know, now you know Richard Bassett's not one of them, so you're going to get four <laughs> Which one of the following people was not someone who signed the United States Constitution on behalf of Delaware? George Reed, Gunning Bedford Jr., James Madison, John Dickinson, or Richard Bassett? James yeah. Madison. Which federal agency is responsible for prosecuting criminal cases in federal court? Supreme Court? Nope, good try. Good try. Want me to read again? Uh, yeah. Okay. Which federal agency is responsible for prosecuting criminal cases in federal court? U.S. Marshal. No, good try, good try. Okay, who? Are you guys? He should have made all by himself. <laughs> Alright, want me to read again? <coughs> Which federal agency is responsible for prosecuting criminal cases in federal court? You want to take a guess or move on? Move on? Okay, good job. Uh, read it again? Okay. Which federal agency is responsible for prosecuting criminal cases in federal court? Can you say that again? She said federal justice. Mm -hmm. You gotta be a little more specific. It's, uh, she said who? Federal. federal justice. Is that what you said? Okay. He says you have to be more specific. I don't have to have my shoes on. So you've got a couple seconds here. Who prosecutes cases? What all cases? We allow. Thank 
to. What are the letters A, T, F, an abbreviation for? Federal judges. 
Oh, good try, good try, good try. Can you me to read it again? Which legislative branch of the U.S. government has the responsibility to vote on confirmation of federal judges? The Senate. Okay, I'm going to go to you, right? 24. How many justices currently are on the U.S. Supreme Court? Oh, my bad. That's the, that's the boss. I'm going to get fired today. Okay. Who is the current Chief Justice in the U.S. Supreme Court? You want to take a guess? Or move on. Your choice. Move on. Okay, good job. Who is the current Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court? 